The doctrine of signatures is based on the theory that the appearance of certain foods is similar to the part of the body it benefits. This doctrine states that fruits and vegetables which resemble various parts of the body can be used to reach our genetic potential, stay healthy, and prevent diseases. Mother Nature has provided clues as to which fruits and vegetables to eat to protect and heal various body parts. There are some eating clues from Mother Nature with which you may be familiar, such as eating carrots being good for your vision. But have you ever noticed how a sliced carrot looks like a human eye? The pupil, iris, and radiating lines of a carrot look just like the human eye. And yes, science shows carrots greatly enhance blood flow to and function of the eyes. The gnarled folds of a walnut mimic the appearance of a human brain. A walnut looks like a little brain, a left and right hemisphere, upper cerebrums and lower cerebellums, even the wrinkles or folds on the nut are just like the neocortex. Walnuts are a great source of omega-3 essential fatty acids which promote better cognitive function in the brain. Slice a mushroom in half and it resembles the shape of a human ear. And guess what? Adding mushrooms to your diet could actually improve your hearing. That's because mushrooms are one of the few foods in our diet that contain vitamin D. This particular vitamin is important for healthy bones, even the tiny ones in the ear which transmit sound to the brain. The inside of a pomegranate looks like red blood cells. One of the most promising heart protective agents to emerge in recent years is pomegranates. Packed with unique antioxidants that guard the body's endothelial cells against free radical assault, pomegranates have been shown to prevent, even reverse, cardiovascular disease. Our lungs are made up of branches of ever smaller airways which finish up with tiny bunches of tissue called alveoli. These structures, which resemble bunches of grapes, allow oxygen to pass from the lungs to the bloodstream. A diet high in fresh fruit, such as grapes, has been shown to reduce the risk of lung cancer and emphysema. Grapes hang in a cluster shaped like a heart. Each grape looks like a blood cell, and research shows grapes are also profound heart and blood vitalizing food. Just as grapes have multiple functions, products containing Sumigro have multiple functions, with the primary benefits being yield increase and fertilizer reduction. And kidney beans look like, well, human kidneys. Since they share a common name, it's no surprise kidney beans actually heal and help maintain kidney function. A nice cheese with holes or eyes, such as Swiss cheese or Emmental, is not just good for your bones, it even resembles their internal structure. And like most cheeses, it is a rich source of calcium, a vital ingredient for strong bones and reducing the risk of osteoporosis later in life and increased calcium can increase bone density. Celery, bok choy, and rhubarb look just like bones. These foods specifically target bone strength. Bones are 23% sodium, and these foods are 23% sodium. Coincidence? If you don't have enough sodium in your diet, the body pulls it from the bones, thus making them weak. These foods replenish the skeletal needs of the body. Root ginger often looks just like the stomach, so it's interesting that one of its biggest benefits is aiding digestion. The Chinese have been using ginger for thousands of years to calm the stomach and cure nausea, while it is also a popular remedy for motion sickness. A tomato has four chambers and is red. A heart has four chambers and is red. Research shows tomatoes are loaded with lycopene and are indeed heart and blood food. It is lycopene in the tomato that provides its red color and its antioxidant properties that are beneficial to the heart. Tomatoes happen to be one of the best responding plants when treated with a product containing Sumigro. In addition to higher yields with less fertilizer, tomatoes grown with Sumigro product have higher BRICS levels. Very loosely defined, the BRICS level, B-R-I-X, in fruits and vegetables tells us how sweet they are at any particular time. The higher the BRICS, the better the taste. BRICS levels are also highly correlated with nutrient levels. Sweet potatoes look like the pancreas and actually balance the glycemic index. They release sugars gradually into the bloodstream. That means they don't stress the organ, which helps regulate blood sugar levels. Close up, the tiny green tips on a broccoli head look like hundreds of cancer cells. Now scientists know this disease-busting vegetable can play a crucial role in preventing disease. A team of researchers at the U.S. National Cancer Institute found just a serving a week of broccoli was enough to reduce the risk of prostate cancer by 45%. Listen up, guys. Figs are full of seeds and hang in twos when they grow. Figs increase the mobility of male sperm and increase the numbers of sperm as well as help overcome sterility. Research reveals that eating more fruits and vegetables can help men boost their fertility. The more produce a man consumes, the healthier his sperm will be. 
Peanuts have a profound effect on the testicles and sexual libido. Peanuts are an excellent source of arginine. Arginine is used as an alternative to Viagra. Avocados target the health and function of the womb and cervix of the female. They look just like these organs. Research shows that when a woman eats one avocado a week, it balances hormones, sheds unwanted birth weight, and helps prevent cervical cancers. And how profound is this? It takes exactly nine months to grow an avocado from blossom to ripen fruit. Can you guess what body parts a sliced lemon, sliced grapefruit, and sliced orange resemble? They look just like the mammary glands of the female and actually assist the health of the breasts. Cheer up and put a smile on your face by eating a banana. This popular fruit contains a protein called tryptophan which gets converted into a chemical neurotransmitter called serotonin. This is one of the most important mood regulating chemicals in the brain and most antidepressant drugs work by adjusting levels of serotonin production.